What's up y'all? I'm Madison Payne and welcome to another video. If you're new here and you love budget style and beauty, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I put out three new videos a week. But in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys how to use the bedhead swerve and curve. I wore my hair using this product in my last Ulta haul and you guys told me y'all wanted to see it. So ask and you shall receive. I know this is available at other retailers as well. So I'm going to link all of them that I can find below because I know some people are Amazon people, some people are Ulta people, some people are Target people. So I will link everything below as well as all the products that I use use and I just love this hairstyle you get a lot of volume and I only have to style it one time and it does last days on my hair which never happens so I know you guys are gonna love that part of it too and let's go ahead and get started okay so a couple of things before we get started you're probably gonna want to use some sort of heat protectant in your hair just because this bad boy does heat up quite a bit it gets really hot I only use it on the low or medium heat setting but it still puts off a lot of heat so today I use the Marc Antony bye bye frizz it's a leave-in conditioner that also helps during styling but trust me also makes a really great heat protectant that's super affordable too so I'm also gonna put on the color wow dream cocktail and this is for when your hair is dry I really thought that this was a hairstyle that I could get away with on like day six or seven of styling but for me because I do use a lot of products my hair is more like a hay like texture by the time I get that far down into the week and this looks so bad if your hair is frizzy you're gonna end up looking like Mia Thermopolis and Princess Diaries before she got her makeover so I do really recommend using some sort of smoothing serum in your hair I really like this color wow one I also love the bedhead after party that's a great budget option too so either one of those will work great and I'm just gonna comb my hair out with a wet brush and I'm just gonna section it off into two pieces for me, I do this as more of a messy look, so I am not particular about this or my sections at all. So when it comes to the bottom of my hair, I'm also not that picky about it because the top layer is gonna cover most of this up. So you're gonna see me do a little bit larger of sections. So on the bottom, I do like to get the crimper close to my head just because it does build up a little bit more volume. The more defined that you want the crimp, the harder I would push this down as well as the longer I would hold it. If you just want it to be a slight wave, I wouldn't hold it down that hard that long but I do kind of want mine to be a little bit more defined and as far as spacing goes I just kind of eyeball it to see where I think the next piece should go I do like to leave a little bit of the end straight because I do think it looks a little bit more beachy and that's personally what I like to use this tool for so I'm just gonna repeat that process on the whole bottom of my hair and I will check back with you guys A few moments later. Okay, so I'm already done. The bottom only took like five minutes. This is a super quick hairstyle. And I'm gonna go in with the Color Wow Colt Favorite hairspray. I also really like the Tresemme Purple Bottle hairspray. That is a much firmer hold though. And I don't find that I need that on this particular hairstyle. Well, this tool will make your hair last days. You're gonna have to probably wash out this hairstyle. I'm gonna go ahead and do the top section. So I normally do my hair in the middle part, but I find that this hairstyle really needs a lot of volume to look pretty. So I'm just gonna do my hair to one side and I kind of just flip it throughout the day to make sure that I'm keeping the volume. Again, this is a more messy hairstyle, which is one of the things that I really like about it. So the difference of how I'm curling the top is that I'm doing the top pieces in smaller sections just to really make it look extra mermaidy and beachy. I'm even gonna do smaller sections than this, like just a couple of strands just to really vary it up. Also not starting the crimp until further down on my hair because because I find that if I do it right at the root, although it does give it more volume, I can end up with some really weird curls coming out of the top of my head. So I just avoid that entirely if I start the crimp lower. So now I'm going in and adding even smaller pieces just to give the hair a little bit more texture. And I kind of just eyeball how many of these smaller pieces that I like. So 
So now that I'm done crimping everything, I'm gonna go in with the Hair Wow Color Wow Extra Mystical Shine Spray. And I like for this hairstyle to almost have a wet look to it, just so it's not as frizzy as it is right now. And this is even with the Shine Serum. This hairstyle very easily goes frizzy. So I'm just gonna give my hair a light spray and kind of run my hand over it. It almost gives it that shiny wet look, but not quite as much as a wet look. I think it just, is absolutely perfect for this hairstyle. I also only break apart these curls with my hands. I don't use a brush on this because I find that the curl will stay, but it kind of expands and I just feel like it's prettier straight off the iron with a little bit of shine spray is how I personally prefer it. And we are pretty much done. That's how you use the bed head swerve and curve to get the perfect beachy mermaid curls. And these curls do last me a couple of days. I have very fine straight hair and at the most I might go in and fix a piece or two, but I love this hair in the summer, especially how humid it is in Houston, that my hair will actually stay. So I highly, highly recommend this tool. If you guys wanna see more hair tutorials, be sure to check out this playlist right here. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.